So let's say hi to Robert in Tennessee. We're hey talking there, about, Bab. I guess, uh, bad gangs. Robert. Ooh. Hey, guys. How uh, about the gang on Crocodile Dundee 2 when uh, he had to go rescue his girlfriend from the drug dealer? What a pussy gang that was, huh? Oh, Colin, Colin was in uh, Crocodile Dundee 2, right? That's true, yes. The yeah. idiot that he is, he rewrote the second half of the script. Did he? Yeah, he, he to great. You don't know Colin's fucking story about the second half of the script for Crocodile Dundee too. No. I didn't know he wrote. No, he tried to. Oh, he tried to. Oh no, he fucking. I I, I hope his he's awake right now, fucking bleary eyed from not sleeping, and dipping his stupid fucking his muffin in tea. <laughs> hey, I I hope he's awake to call. I don't want to tell this story. It's very. It's one of my favorite stories. Is it a real story? Oh, it's a hundred percent real. Because you never know what the... It's 100%. Oh, i got to hear this. Yeah. What that, part did Colin thank you, Robert. have in Crocodile Dundee 2? He fucking... He had like a little part. Yeah. He was, uh, you know, let's be honest. Probably wasn't a big one. <laughs> oh, this And um, he just had some ideas on what the second half of the script should be. He actually approached somebody yeah. as a guy with a relatively small part on a movie yeah. and approached someone with what he thinks should happen in the second half. Yeah. He is a madman. But well, Crocodile Dundee 2 didn't do well, right? I think it did all right. Is it all right? Okay. It would have yeah. done worse if his ideas had gone out. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling him right now. We'll see if he's up. I got wow. Or maybe after the break. I don't know. Whenever he wakes up. His tweets about, um, about the show Girls and uh, his interaction with uh, Lena Dunham, Dunham, whatever her name is. Right. Uh, fucking hilarious. Just fucking hilarious. About what a great actor he is and how everyone tells him how fantastic he is. <laughs> and if I would have known that you looked this good, like, wow, I would have put a romantic scene yeah, in Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's so fucking funny. He's the greatest tweeter yeah, ever. he really is. I wish I followed him. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> He's not answering. Mm. Yeah, he fucking sleepy. Huh? Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. He wrote. Um, he wrote himself into the second half of the movie as like the guy who shows Dundee around New York, <laughs> and he presented it to like the director or the producers. What a set of balls! What an absolute asshole! Yes, <laughs> he gave it to the. I gotta hear the story oh, from his mouth. God, you gotta look at this picture. It's the fucking. They take oh. these rooftop feet photos. Oh yeah, I saw that picture. You think it's real? Oh, yeah, it's 100% real. Holy why can't they be shit. green screening or why well, they could be, but it's, it's a guy from National Geographic who took it. Oh, it is. All right. Well, He's standing on top of the Burj Khalifa Tower. He's on the highest point. But he's holding on to something. Of course, but it doesn't matter. I would do that. Oh, no. I swear to God I would do that. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't even I, go on the Eagle, which is fucking... No, uh, because he could hold on to something. That's the difference. Oh, no, he's not. Stop. That, didn't you just say he's holding on to something? Someone's probably holding him. That's the highest point you can go. That's the highest point. Is that you can outside go. the uh, the, yes. the nest or whatever that's they call it? That's on the top of the nest. Oh my! Show There's me nothing. where he is in another picture. Go to bird. Go to bird. Yeah, this picture is making the rounds. It's it's going viral. It is an crazy. It's an impressive photo. Bird's tower. I'm trying top. to figure out where he is though. No, no, go go. Uh, Jeez, Louise. Uh, that's insane. I'll show you where he is. I'll show you. <laughs> Uh, it looks like it, there's a spot where he can hold no, on. The tippity no. top. No, go to uh, go to videos of top of the bird. There's one video which will show you where he is. Okay. There, right there. That's creepy. This one, but these guys are sitting up there. Jesus. Right there. Pause. Oh. oh, can you go? Go. I'm sorry. He's standing where those guys are sitting. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. He might be able to hold that thing behind him. I will no. shut the fuck up now. That's, yeah, that's ridiculous. There's no reason to you be there. You think he's holding on to that thing? He over might there? be. Yeah. But still. Might oh. have he dropped his camera and reached for it. Oh God. Oh God. That's a great photo. Colin Quinn. We got him. We got Colin. Hi, Colin. Yeah. Hi guys. How are you? I'm, I'm okay. I just took a hot one last night. You Good gig down here. Where are you? Oh, Atlanta. you're in Atlanta. That's right. Hot Atlanta. No, I, mean, I was, no, I went to Atlanta. I was in DC. Ah, you bombed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What, what gig was it? I just think. What happened? They had they ears. Expecting, <laughs> they, weren't, they weren't expecting that type of. That type of rhetoric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Colin. That type of inflammatory rhetoric, as we say nowadays. Uh, I would think uh, <laughs> some of your views would be uh, very welcome down there. 
I, I would think the uh, world would be shocked for it at this point, but apparently not. Oh. So w were you in a comedy club or was it a private uh, gig? It was like a little private event. And uh, how? It wasn't that bad, but it was too now. Mm. We're talking about Crocodile Dundee too, and the bad the yeah. bad gang scene in that, and uh, how? Oh you, yeah. And and I related the fact that you had to, you felt you deserved a bigger part. Yeah. What what you didn't you did not actually approach anyone that had anything to do with this film and try to get a, a rewrite going, did you? Well, no, no, I didn't try to get a rewrite. I wrote, I, I rewrote, and my girlfriend piped up. Oh, God. Um, the entire rewrite of the second half of Crocodile Dundee 2. Me with the one line, the tuxedo onlooker. I didn't even have a name. Onlooker. <laughs> I rewrote it. Charles Dutton, who I didn't even I didn't know any of them. I just read the script. And I was like, this is not this is not a New York script. I mean, I had done comedy for like five months. I'm like, <laughs> I'm my open mic. I rewrote the whole script, handed it in. Charles Dutton was out. And guess who was leading... Uh, Paul Hogan around New York. Uh, Colin yep. Quinn. That's correct. <laughs> the tuxedo onlooker. <laughs> you wrote yourself into the movie more? You wrote a bigger <laughs> yeah, part for yourself? more as the coast saw. <laughs> <laughs> and, and submitted it? <laughs> yeah. That's great. What a set of fucking balls. What, uh, what kind of reaction I mean, did you get? Just a deluded arrogance. I mean, I, was, I guess I was lucky. Like, they were Australians. They were just like... Yeah, yeah, you know, I just kind of ignored it and stuff. The director, I go, did you get my... I actually asked really afterwards, I go, did you get the uh, rewrite and everything? Oh. <laughs> oh, how douchey. Don't you wish you still had a copy of that? I wish I had it, yeah, I do. I wish I had a copy of that script. Oh, God. I wish I, had, I wish I could have really had the guy on tape when somebody told him. <laughs> 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 were, were you ima were, were you imagining uh, what it would be like if, when they go like, oh, this is great, let's get him in for a meeting? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. literally, I had to, it's not like I looked, like even a normal douche would look a, look afterwards, like during the, when he was on the set, would have looked away from the director like, oh, no, <laughs> right, embarrassed. I literally looked him in the eyes like, what happened? You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you fucking naive? What an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. Oh, that's so fucking douchey. Real jerk. Man. A true jerk on the set. <laughs> the, guy that come, the guys that come up to me and go, hey, man, you know. It's like I was at douche times 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how would you like if some, like if some guy came yeah. up to you and told you how you should do your act and... Yeah, that's came up with a stupid script. Right, that's who you were. The girl was probably looking at me like, what an asshole. I can't believe I'm dating you. <laughs> I probably script. thought that beforehand. Yeah. What, how, <laughs> how long did it take you to rewrite it? Um, I don't know, probably like about a few days. Or something. <laughs> did you write action scenes in? Um, I think it was mostly just I mostly, I, it was actually, because remember, it took place in like Queens and Long Island. So I, bet, I, I put it in Brooklyn. I think I gave myself like a few monologues. Of the <laughs> that really happened. Monologues! That really, that it really happened, but they weren't even that exciting in my life. And so I could tell Paul Hogan, you know, just be like, hey man, like this is authentic. <laughs> <laughs> this is real Brooklyn. Real New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to love yeah. this. Oh Jesus! Oh. How fucking embarrassing! It's terrible. Years later, I'm, I'm a, cringing. I, and I guess what, years later, I'm barely cringing. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, the movie wasn't that good anyway. So. How about the fact that they've written already like the top hit of like two years before, and I'm still rewriting the second part? <laughs> well, this part one was a try and uh, and just oh. you know, and I'm parading. I, if you could have seen me walk around that set, you would have thought I was the lead. <laughs> Re really? I, mean, I, was, I was so, like, confident. I was just so, like, had no idea about, like, you know. Because uh, I, I was doing stand-up in New York. I was like, hey, you know, I felt like a big shot. You, uh, you, you hadn't been beaten down yet. <laughs> no, and it was also the 80s. So when you said, I'm a stand-up comic, everybody would go, what? You're a what? Oh, you right, yeah, this? yeah. Like later, people are like, oh, my cousin does it, you know? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>
<laughs> Holy shit. Well, Carl, that's um that's quite a story there. I I, I actually felt a little bad for you. Just just imagining. I didn't feel oh, bad like, for him. He's fucking stupid. Oh, that shipper. was a great fucking movie. Oh, Shipper. <laughs> <laughs> kind of wasn't. Uh, Chip has really gotten. Chip has gotten very vile and profane lately. Yeah, I'm something's going on. Seen. I'm letting my freak yeah. flag, my freak flag fly. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta be myself. I think it's happened to his mother at the same age. <laughs> my mother said, "Chip, but let your star shine bright." Oof. <laughs> A delightful woman. No, she wasn't. All right, Carl. No, she wasn't. Have fun Hi, at uh, have fun at the punchline. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Bye. Bye. That's funny, man. Oh my God, what a set of balls! How that? embarrassing. And then being on the set after, like you know that the guys probably talked about, like uh. you know what this fucking idiot did? Do you know what this fucking dumb extra did? <laughs> and then they read it. I'm sure they read it to each other. Look, look, look at this line. He's got himself saying this. <laughs> and then he comes in the next day like, hey, guys, so how did it go? He's you, got to have a copy of that Did somewhere. you read it? <laughs> He's got to have that in a file somewhere. I wasn't you're... in the digital age and the paper they used no, back then. No, you know why? Well, he, he probably typed up. It wasn't on a computer. Yeah. He just typed it up. And he probably handed it in and lost the copy. That was it. it oh, wow. Some, maybe someone has it out there. Oh, that's, I'd pay $500 for that. Easily. Fucking writes Charles Dutton out of the show, out of the movie, to write himself in. <laughs> That's brilliant. Smart. Yeah, it is. <laughs>